youth runner here with uh, Eliza Hong on my right, uh, Emily Rousseau on my left. Uh, it's usually Del Norte versus everyone. It still was Del Norte versus everyone today, but it was also a uh, double dose of Del Norte up front. Uh, Eliza 18-19-6, Emily 18-19-7, uh, second and third place overall in the Division One uh, Invitational Race. Uh, Eliza, obviously the two of you are always working together. You know, you want to support one another and uplift one another, but at what point in that in that last stretch does it become, uh, you know, every woman for themselves? Um, I knew that last stretch was going to be challenging because we would be together. Uh, so I, <laughs> I'm usually not good at the kick, so I surprised myself today. <laughs> Emily, uh, obviously, you know, the, the the you know the, the greater goal, or you know, or always. You know the the primary focus for you know you ladies as a group is the success of uh, of Del Norte. But you know you could you could you know run those uh, those reps and in training all the time. But uh, how good is it to kind of have to you know have somebody come up on you, whether it's a teammate or somebody else, you know, in an actual race, and you know, and how you're going to respond because that might be the difference of you know uh, team placement. Yeah. Uh, you know, come San Diego section finals or state, right? Yeah, every body counts. I mean, me and Eliza will definitely see. We'll try and see who will get. Um, league finals who will win league finals um, but yeah whenever a girl's coming up you always that's when it gets to your mental ability and you you just want to fight through and see well you want the girls to come with you but you definitely want to fight and see who can finish first Obviously, one thing that is very commonplace for you ladies throughout your career is Del Norte uh, finishing first. But Emily, I wanted to ask, like, just how how do you feel like just, you know, the, the, the group is, you know, confidence-wise, belief-wise, energy-wise, cohesiveness-wise on September 21st now in comparison to past years? Um, right now, we are definitely. I think our training has. We've been working a lot harder over the summer. So right now, we are all. We have two weeks off um, from here until we run at Clovis. So right now we are just putting at practice like our all. So we've just been working really, really hard to push one up and out of there. Eliza, uh, I mean, obviously the, the group has, you know, just continued uh, uh, to get uh, get better. Uh, uh, but obviously, you know, it starts with each individual person wanting to, you know, to, to improve and, and develop, and then it obviously kind of. You know, feeds that you know that uh, that, uh, that bigger uh, ecosystem. So, you know, even as a veteran and a woman who's accomplished as much as you have, like, uh, just, uh, how encouraged have you been about this particular summer in like August and the early part of September, setting yourself up not only for today but like Emily said, with a big opportunity at Clovis uh, coming up. Yeah. So Emily mentioned we've been training much harder than last year, and I feel like it's been a big confidence boost, and also has helped me kind of just get used to the faster pace that I'm gonna be having to know how to do. Um, it's the beginning of the season so we still have a lot more to do and a lot of uh, bigger races at the end of the season so I'm still trying to focus on training right now and then just practice um, executing what I've been practicing at races. Most definitely. Last thing and for both of you, uh, Eliza I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. I I've had the blessing of, of watching uh, both of you just, uh, you know, have such an impact on this program from day one. Uh, but now, obviously, and you, you ladies have always been leaders, whether it was, you know, within in your own grade and then obviously now with the whole group. Like, Eliza, how, how significant, how meaningful, how important is, uh, is that for you? That obviously once upon a time you were looking up to, you know, to, to Hannah and the, and the others, but now you're passing along that that wisdom and that insight and the experience you know, uh, you know, to the you know, to the newcomers that might have been out here as a as a freshman yeah. you know for, uh, for the first time today. What, what does that mean to you? It's been it's a really good privilege to be able to give advice to the freshmen who are doing this for the first time. And although I'm only a, um, a sophomore, I have like Emily and all my other teammates that are older than me have been doing it for just a couple more years than me. So I'm able to pass down advice and just be there to support them along the way. Awesome. And uh, Emily, I mean, I literally can vividly remember the conversation that we had no, yeah. you know, when you were a freshman. I mean, I, so, I mean, obviously, I hope nobody's calling you grandma, you know, uh, <laughs> but I mean, but again, like you have been there, you've done that, you've been at the highest level in cross country, you've been at the highest level in, in, in track, you know, uh, just like how, how much pride is there in just the consistency that you've had? Because I don't think that gets enough respect for yeah. you, but for the whole group, just the consistency that you've had, not just with Hannah, yeah. but like you know, with you know, Paige and, and the other Emily. I, I mean, like one of the hallmarks of Del Norte is consistency. How much does that yeah. mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, it definitely is better to be consistent than obviously like... Inconsistent. Yeah, because I 
I mean, we always, if we have a bad day, we always have a next girl that is pushing herself more to catch up for what we have lost. I mean, again, we're always pushing each other. Um, but yeah, we've always, um, since me and Eliza have started, we've always been up there. It is harder for us to get better, but I mean, we are, and we are trying really our best to keep pushing ourselves. Well, uh, I know that they certainly will, uh, based on the experience uh, at the Clovis Im uh, Invitational uh, with their first uh, trip, uh, first of multiple. Uh, we're putting that out in the University of Woodward Park uh, uh, this season, but uh, uh, as long as they have each other, uh, we know it's going to go all the way to the line and it's usually going to be decided by yeah. fractions of a second. Uh, Eliza Hong, 18-19-6, Emily Russo, 18-19-7, uh, and a great uh, statement again today for Del Norte at the 44th A6 Clovis Invitational. Ladies, stay healthy and best of luck in Fresno. Thank you. Thank you.